so hi friends i'm back with another video uh, today we will discuss few error scenarios which we regularly encounter in cobol programs knowingly or unknowingly we encounter this kind of programs very basic errors so i will show you what kind of errors we will uh, regularly get and how to fix them so you can see i have taken a program where there are two input fi uh, two files one is input file one is output file okay then uh, uh, this input file structure is this way name salary indicator date mail so and filler is also there so if you count it becomes 10 plus 5 15 16 26 plus 24 uh, 50 plus 30 80 so input file length is 80 output file length is also i guess 80 15 16 26 50 80 i have taken one variable wsa it's a flag with which i will run the loop value is n wsb whose value is zero so i have taken a counter now what i am doing is i have initialized this out track i have opened input output files okay now i already know what uh, which file i am going to take as input which file i am going to take as output that is why i, I already referred in the beginning in file as input and out file as output but actually coming to this procedure division only you can decide the system will decide which is input which is output by the name itself you cannot decide in file maybe output file also out out file maybe input file also based on the file opening mode but since i already knew so i told in file as input out file as output now i am running this loop until this uh, wsa becomes y i'm reading in file at and move i'm moving y not at and i'm checking i'm adding one to wsb if it is less than 10 that means i'm moving the first 10 records i think i have already shared a video on this i'm moving this first 10 records of this input file from input to output output when it uh, it uh, exceeds 10 that means it's more than 10 11th record it will move y to wsa to complete this loop okay that means it is not going to co copy more than 10 records to output so let me first compile this program and see how it goes so if i compile submit max cc4 okay now let me execute this program so i have taken two files also input and output so submit soc4 i have got see abandoned soc4 so soc4 error i have got let me check what the issue is so if i go to spool if i go to this execution gcl let me go to cc cc out first <clears throat> the system detected a protection exception system completion code soc4 from compile unit this this is at entry point this so you can get nothing from here it is one error it's just telling that it's some error but you can you cannot get much things from here if you go to c dump here you try to read each and everything each and every line so you might get some clue uh, from here okay so try to read the messages from top to bottom you might get some clue i'll go to the last part of it mf8 so condition processing resulted in the unhandling unhandled condition this step name is this user id is this then go up go up go up go up error was not compiled with the same test option something something is there so you can't get this exact error from here and where will you get this error from how will you understand what kind of error you have it has encountered so on the right hand side also if i want to check no concrete message you cannot come to a conclusion what the error exactly is so that is why in case of this soc4 events you should always know what are the possible reasons of soc4 
one of the possible reasons is if you don't open the file and you try to read it sometimes it may come if you don't uh, close the file sometimes it comes when you try to move more array values through jcl's this dynamic value subscript so which uh, when it ex exceeds the subscript limit it will give the sock for error in this case we don't have any subscript and this that we have files and there is a possible chance that there's a possibility that the files are not were not opened and it the files were processed already so let us check in procedure division what i have done so go go to procedure division first check what i have done is i have done a mistake here i am directly initializing the outtrack then i am opening input and output which is a big mistake i cannot initialize or do anything move any value or process or do anything with the files unless and until i open the files first thing is inside environment division data uh, file control you have to define the files you have to do the mapping inside file section in data division you have to do the uh, de define the file structure inside procedure division first thing is we have to open the files whichever is input open in input mode which are is output open in output mode then only we have we can do this initialize we can read we can perform we can move we can write all these things we can do later on so this is the mistake that i have done initialize so i will move this initialize line after open out file okay after open output out file i have saved it since i have changed the program i will have to compile it again so let me compile okay max cc4 let me execute it s u4038 this is another error which we regularly get now go to spool what this error is this is user error go to sys out here you get the error see a file attribute mismatch was detected file out file in program error had a record length of 80 and the in the assigned clause it had a record length of 90 so clearly it is written that it is written for which file this error is coming also it is coming for the file out file so in the program error the length is mentioned as 80 but in the jcl it is mentioned as 90 it is clearly written now go to the program and check whether it is actually 80 or not count it 10 so this is the out file for this one error is coming so 10 plus 5 15 16 26 26 plus 24 50 50 plus 30 80 so correct 80 only so now check out file was assigned to dd2 now check the length of this output file which is already generated so go to 3.4 check it information see the length is 90 this is the mistake you have taken a file as output in jcl which has a length of 90 but in the program you have defined it as 80 so one thing you can do is you can either change the filler here in the program or you can take a different file oops so what i'll do is i'll save it i have changed the length uh, filler as 40 so that this output file length is 90 now so i will compile it compilation is successful now i'll execute it see execution is successful now if you go to this output file you can check the data see clearly it's copied so this is the input file ps.input whatever data it had exactly copied and only four copied because in input file also we have only four records if we had more than four records that is more than 10 records in input file only first 10 would have been copied as per the program logic but the main mot motive of making this video was how to find this kind of errors we find them regularly in we don't find them in production but uh, generally in development you know, while testing we find this kind of errors by mistake we sometimes process the file read it initialize it move records write records before even opening it that time we get soc4 and also when there is a file attribute mismatch it may happen with both input and output we have defined a file length in the 
Now we have defined a different file length in the program and we have defined a separate file length in the JSON. That time we will definitely get it. So these kind of errors we should avoid. And obviously during uh, testing, you will find this kind of errors. And actually it is good to get this kind of errors so that you will be more familiar with this kind of errors. So next time, whenever you see this kind of errors, immediately you will find out, okay, this might be the issue. I can directly go there and can fix it. You don't have to write, read any, each and every line the spool that is how you will it is actually helpful to get this kind of errors you will definitely not get this kind of errors in production region because these programs will be thoroughly tested and this kind of errors will be easily found out because if this kind of errors are there you cannot test and it cannot be delivered also because in test only you will find out in testing regions only uh, testing region another round of testing will be done there also it may be fine found out if you can't find it out as a developer so in developing region you will find these errors and it is good to get and uh, you will learn a lot of things uh, out of this so this is one of the cases of SOC 4 error i'll make more videos on possible SOC 4 errors SOC 7 errors SOC b errors so please suggest me on what kind of topics you want videos i'll make those videos so i hope this video is helpful uh let's meet in another video until then take care bye